I'm Ben Brown, live in Barcelona. Spanish police foil a second terrorist plot after 13 people were killed here in Barcelona. Five suspected terrorists have now been shot dead in the town of Cambrils, south of here, after a car was driven into pedestrians, injuring seven, including a police officer. People from 24 countries were caught up in the Barcelona attack on Ras Ramblas yesterday afternoon. 80 people have been injured, some seriously, when the van ploughed through pedestrians on the famous tourist landmark right in the centre of Barcelona. Come on, come on. Come with me. Come with me. Move, move, move. People caught up in the attack have been describing fleeing for their lives into shops and bars as the driver of the van swerved into pedestrians. We'll be talking to eyewitnesses caught up in both incidents and bringing you all the latest developments. Hello, welcome to BBC News. We're right in the heart of Barcelona at uh, Plaza de Catalonia, Catalonia Square, just at the end of Las Ramblas. This is where the van driver began his attack. He drove from here, from the square, down Las Ramblas, swerving left and right, weaving left and right, and leaving 13 people dead and dozens injured from more than 20 different countries. Three people now, according to Spanish police, have been arrested in connection with that attack. But it now seems that a fully-fledged terror na network has been operating here in Catalonia uh, because in the early hours of this morning in the town of Cambrils, about 100 kilometres uh, southwest of here, there was another incident in which a car this time was driven at pedestrians, seven people injured, including a police officer. Now, this time... The vehicle overturned, uh, the police opened fire very quickly and killed, shot dead five men, five suspected terrorists, uh, and they were reportedly wearing explosive belts. Uh, there was then a series of controlled explosions. Let's get this report on the latest developments from Sarah Corker.